last time on Fallout Friday. Come on. Oh, hey. <laughs> Mr. Breach. Oh my god. And these radios. You sons of bitches. Trying to create a clone and a goofy clone. Look at me. I'm looking at that lamp over there. You sons of bitches. Not today, Mr. Doppelganger. Not today. And now, the conclusion. Hello, everyone. I'm Sergeant Spaghetti. Today, we have a mission. A mission we must accomplish. Lieutenant Steven has most of the information. We'll be going off his leads, and it will be quite, quite the battle. Nevertheless, we have some standard weaponry we will be using today. Jerry, I see you have your standard uniform on. Perfect. I have mine on as well. Let's get started. First off, we have the Combine Stun Baton. This is a beautifully crafted device. Melee weapon, custom mesh, and texture. We will be using this to hit small and large children. If for any need there is an adult, you can hit them too. Or a creature. I especially like this weapon because it's beautiful. I've never seen it before. And I can hit people with it. Very nice texture and mesh. Cannot wait to use this beautiful Half-Life 3 confirmed. Next up is the ZMLR 300. Correct everyone, this is a custom mesh texture machine gun. Gun. Submachine gun. Assault rifle bazooka. Pistol. Arrow. Bow. This is a beautiful mesh and texture. I love this. Very nice and beautiful. Sexy, standard, and standardized. We will be using this to kill anyone in our way. If you need B, there are three attachments you can apply to your standard ZMLR 300. This is the ACOG, the suppressor, and extended magazine. These will help us in case we need to do stealth, but most likely we will go in guns a blazing. Once more, beautiful weapons that we have been issued by the great god, Clouds. Thank you very much, Clouds. We are in your debt. So, everyone, on to the mission. Steven has supplied us with information regarding the doppelgangers we encountered last week. Apparently, the radios and business roaches have been working to create an entire doppelganger army of everyone we've ever known. That's correct, Jerry. Everyone. This, of course, means we must eliminate them before they take our place in the Mojave. First off, a home. As you know, we have a home in the Dustlands over there. Seems they've built an exact replica over there. Now, Steven says some of their information was not correct. Some things may be a bit off, just a very infinitesimal amount. Nevertheless, we must take it down. Nevertheless. Janet! <clears throat> Pick up that can. Pick up that can, Janet. Oh. Sorry. Pick up that can. Better? Is that is that better? Bep, bep. No, oh, I'm sorry about that, Janet. Yep. Uh, the uh, combine stun baton does have uh, custom uh, stuff going on at the top of the baton. I just wanted to mention that you guys saw that when I was showing it. But pretty cool, um, really nice stuff, and uh, it does also, when you get a critical hit, it does, uh, uh, the, whoever you hit uh, gets, they fall down and they get stunned, so it's pretty cool. Uh, nice uh, extras for the weapon, so it's not just kind of a melee weapon, you also get a little extra gameplay effect bonus where they, uh, you know, they get stunned and they faint for a bit, so pretty cool, pretty sweet. Let's keep moving on, stay to the beat. All right, everyone, the home is straight ahead. Now, we did take out the previous clone, but there may be others. Remember, our mission is to burn down this property, take out anyone inside, and copy any relevant files. All right? Hmm. Looks a little bit different from our home, but I can accept that. All right, peeps, Rem remember your training. Take your stun batons out. Let's get this cookie crumbled. Three, two, oh, shite. Breach. 
Oh, dark in here. A little bit different. Ho! Oh, hello there! Hello there, fine sir! Goodbye, fine sir. Alright, people. They know we've entered the premises. We've gotta hurry up. Search for doors. Feel the walls. Lick the floor. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any secret entrance way anywhere. Oh. Physis defying. Physis defying bunker. This is it, people. And so we entered. Um. Oh, okay. Well, looky here. Steven, seems your information was a little off. They had a hell of a problem recreating our home. Hunting rifle. Ooh, I've lost karma. Lever action shotgun. Well, people, we said we had to collect specimens. Might as well. Um, this place is highly unstable. Everyone watch your step. Al chest breaches room. Trophy room. Hmm. Gun lab. Is this a Al's bathroom? All right, let's take care of the weaponry first. What do we got? Well, hello there. Al's kinky sex tool. Should be in the shape of a fire truck. Boomstick. Jerry's meat crusher. Black Hawk. L suit. Hmm, it spins. An improvement. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Nice. Steve's mug and blade. Steve, you dropped your mug and blade. Crocker suit. Formal footwear. Let's check the stats on these babies. No damage resistance. Looks like my clone's a bitch. Oh, DPS 395. Okay. Are these all. Holy Jesus, Steve. 3000 DPS. Okay. Boomstick. Let's check these out for any anomalies, people. One bullet. What does this use? Magnum. Cut it out, will you? I'm testing the weapons out. Jesus. We don't know what these things do. All right, that one shoots fire. And hmm. Seems this weapon doesn't run out of ammunition, and is covered in yogurt. I'll eat this for later. Jerry's suit must wear. Jerry's hat. Don't tell me what to do, game. Steve, it seems there's a few more anomalies than we thought there'd be in here. We're gonna have to neutron bomb this place. Agreed. Steve agrees with me, everyone. Cracker, footwear, suit. Looks like he won't have to be going to the laundry anytime soon. House, gun lab. Alright, guns are clear, everyone. We should be good to go. For the other rooms. Let's check out the bathroom. Hello! Oh my god. Good morning. What's up? I piss here. Right in here. And poop. Man. Hello. I piss here. I've heard the Legion's planning to nope. unleash their best Hello. against us. Bitter Springs. A name like that could have only brought bad luck. Well, I piss here, so. Hmm. Alright. Steve, do you think these people have been brainwashed? Or do you think they're working for them? You're right. Okay. We should look for more information. And if not, then we should just... Well, you know what? We are going to burn the place. Yeah, you're right. We're going to burn the place down. You should go for a swim. Yeah. Look at you. Go for a swim. Go for a swim. You don't feel so good. 
looking at, lady? What are you looking at? Don't mind us. Just security. Just security. And Steven swimming. Physis defined bunker. Oh, hello. Well, my room. Wait, did we go? We're in the bathroom? We were in the bathroom. What do we got left? Room. Trophy room. Well, we'll leave the trophy room for last, I guess. Well, hello there. Oh, Steve! They were gonna clone you, too. Just try it out, just for good time's sake. Oh! Is that how you do sideways? You put your laptop there and you type, type, type? Yeah, you do. Downloading songs on Napster. Oh, seems we found the files, people. My god. They were going to be cloning everyone. Even Kitten Boy. The, the most of forgettable characters. My god. Jerry, they shoved your name together. Yeah, it's all just... Jeremy Goldberg! Jesus Christ. Let's check out these files, sluts. Crap. Get ready to read. Do not let Al see his stats. I hid his file somewhere in Good Springs, where Al will never look. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. If the roaches were trying to teach their doppelgangers about each other, this doesn't seem like a proper way to do it. Chumpkins. Chumpkins is a tabby cat that had four fusion bombs put into his intestines that exploded when he dies. He was killed by a landbine, but has come back many times only to die again. Status, who the fuck knows? Hmm. Interesting. Gully is known to have constant seizures, which is a fit where the character spasms uncontrollably for a few seconds. This, of course, is followed by a berating by Al. Gully has only 50 hit points. Even though Gully doesn't appear very often, Al keeps his medication whenever he decides to come and visit. Gully is an oddity amongst Al's companions in that he doesn't appear as frequently as Mr. Cuddlesworth, Jerry McGoolberry. Hey, they spelled it right in this documentation. Interesting. Steve, or Captain Ballarms, and yet he still appears semi-frequently, more than any other companion. Statues unknown. Jerry McGoolberry! Jerry may possibly be insane. The reason behind this is that Jerry seems to have no regrets of killing people, and he may not even enjoy it. No period. Jerry has two distant cousins named, named Frank Greenfist and Kent Werner. Jerry's weapon of choice is a blue glove. Ha <laughs> ha, goofy face. He is occasionally called Jer. Jerry became Corporal McGoolberry. Jerry was revived by the help of Little Vochi and broke Al's nose for killing him again. No period. He has proved to be a useful companion. Jerry also likes to dance a lot. Statues alive. Kitten Boy. Kitten Boy was the Purs Compeon. He stays in the sewers and kills people, eating them afterwards. Stats unknown. Mr. Cuddlesworth. In order to train him, Alf had cut. Oh my god. Cuddles. They've got a whole file of you. Sweet Christ. In order to train him, Al fed Cuddlesworth a ton of Brahmin meat, which he obtained with Cuddles in his private Brahmin fields by spawning a bunch of fiends wielding pool cues who were easy enough for Cuddlesworth to kill. My god. If this... If there were any new viewers and they watched this video, they'd have all the information on us they'd ever need. My god. By the end of the Forfer mod, Cuddlesworth grew to full size. He is known to often consume stealth boys, causing him to frequently become invisible. There is a rumor floating about that some of Al's other companions have a secret jealousy to Mr. Cuddlesworth. No names will be mentioned because they will become Mike Tyson's brother. John Tyson? Mr. Cuddlesworth can play the piano. He sometimes tries to compete with Jerry by having numerous staring contests, yet they still hold a brotherly bond. Cuddlesworth began a relationship with a girl the gang had recently rescued, her name being Annie. He started fl flirting with her by coming extremely close, close to her face. Cuddles, what did I tell you about coming close to girls' faces? Steve. Steve has a tendency to rush into battle before anybody else and often fights enemies when no other companions will. Steve may suffer from some form of incontinence, as evidenced by his frequent bathroom breaks. Steve has a cousin known as Steve, who ever since they were young boys in the old country have had a rough relationship. Steve seems to show his ass to almost anyone. By flapping his wings, Steve has multiple doctorates and is currently getting his business degree. Steve is Jewish. 
Steve's last name is Wilkins. Steve has four children, each of which are affiliated with the business rat roaches. Statues, alive. Steve, is this true? This last part with your four children? I've never heard about your children whatsoever, Steve. You liar. The Purr is a mysterious superhero who wears a cat mask and is a temporary companion who was aided in his fight against crime. Status, killed in action. Hmm. Well, everyone, they've got files on all of us. Wait a minute. Well, everyone, they've got files on all of us. <clears throat> Janet, don't worry, though. We've got the files. We'll be burning this place as soon as we're done. Check for the rest of the place. That's right. Check for the rest of the place. Oh, I poop in here. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, no, I, I could just wake up. I mean, there's no door, but that's okay. Well, hello. Let's save this for later. What do we got? This? Alright, people. Trophy room. Let's be real safe about this. And just walk in. Oh. Hello? Are we okay? Oh, whoops. Whoops. Oh, no. No, I didn't mean it. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, something. Well, we're going to burn the place down. I know. A replica of Osama bin Brahman. Interesting. Seems that... Hey! Hey, where are you going, slutbags? Whoa, 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 whoa. Test female NVPG armored. Think you can just walk away like that? Think you just not say anything? Oh, really? Cause I'm I'm the man here. You know there's some sweet ass behind you. You should look. Yeah. Come on. All right. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're here to help, Test Male NVPG Armored, and you, Test Male NVPG Simple. That's right. Yes, your name. I know it. Now, if you don't want that to happen to you, you can answer some questions. <clears throat> First off, what the fuck is this? What is this? Hmm? Is it a stick of dynamite? Is this yours, buddy? You see, you got some dynamites. Either that or there's some some hot dogs you got there. Oh, you, you're both shrugging me off. Okay. Okay, that's cute. It's real cute. Real cute! <clears throat> now. Ugh. Yeah. That could be you, buddy. Right there. Hot dogs strapped to your test. <clears throat> Chest. And your family crying. Oh, no, that's not going to be you. Oh, really? Because your shoes say otherwise. Steve, what do the shoes say? Yeah, shoes say I could kick them in the mouth. Hello? Oh, oh, okay. We got, we're opening up. We're opening up, everyone. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. You tell me. Also, seems the universe is collapsing in here. I did not realize that. We should get the hell out of here, Steve. You tell me what this is all about, hmm? What are they planning? Got these... What? What is this? Oh, that's the Chumpkins plane. My god. Why would they commemorate their own destruction? Hmm. <laughs> well. I don't know what you people are up to. You might even be a doppelganger yourself. But. I don't care. Wow, you got some nice basketball shoes going on. Oh! Come on. Let's have cookie crumbles. Alright, people. Let's take out the heads. Don't want no zombie doppelgangers. Oh, good job. Good job. Who was that? Janet? You did a good job, Janet. Good job. Sorry you're not in the files. Alright. Chumpkin's plane. Check. Oh, wait. No, there's a sword. Sword. Check. Dynamite. Check. Steve, do you remember we did something with a sword and or a piece of dynamite? Blank table. Uh, one fourth of the plane's wing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Osama bin Brahman. Interesting. All right, people. Let's keep moving. We got other rooms. The shit room. Okay. Well, actually, the bathroom didn't have a. Uh... Steve, I'm trying to poop. Can I... Why is everyone. Wait, is this just a room? 
that I can I not get out of here? Oh, oh, and I'm inside the door. Okay, great. Okay, great. And we are Janet. Come on, man. Cuddles. Stop trying to sneak a peek. All right, we are stuck. 